Scarecrow isn't sure what had happened. He recalls only the shiver down his neck. When he opens his eyes again, he's already in a traditional market. A lady approaches the chicken stall, Mrs. Chun. She picks out a sturdy chicken leg. It's for her grandson's chicken soup. Unbeknownst to her, right behind her, the leg's owner, Cockerel, stands watching her without a word. Cockerel watches as Mrs. Chun walks away with his leg. That was the strong, beautiful leg he was once proud of. It's now lying in a plastic bag on its way to an unknown kitchen. Cockerel was a red feathered native chicken. Chicken is a great source of protein and nutrients. It plays a very crucial role in our diet. This is a hatchery for native broilers. Fertilized eggs are incubated for 21 days. They hatch into thousands of chicks. Cockerel's life starts from here. The day his egg hatched, the first thing Cockerel saw was this stretch of furry yellow. All the newly born chicks snuggling together. They are picked out from the eggshells and placed into cardboard boxes. The appraisers hold the chicks, checking the genitals one by one. They place them in boxes according to their gender. With so much work to do, there's bound to be an oversight. Cockerel is dropped to the ground. He's picked up by a stranger in glasses. Little does he know, this man before his eyes, he'd bring about unexpected changes to his fate. After chicks are categorized, they go on to the next stage. They are settled into a well-ventilated and humidity-controlled chicken coop. In their new home, their unknown journey begins. However, as for some frail and disabled chicks, they are left behind in the boxes forever. After a few weeks, the chicks grow into young chickens. Young chickens soon grow into middle-sized chickens. The young roosters flock together. They can't help getting hot-blooded. Apart from having their meals, they wander around picking fights. Cockerel prefers to stay in the coop, staring out blankly afar at the mountains. That day, the man in glasses shows up again. He's here with a young man, Dex. The man searches for pretty young roosters. He has a sacred mission for them. Conqueror obediently lets the man inspect it. He knows not of his mission. He only feels a sensation in his tail. Let's look at the instructional video. Bangong 
此时，采金人员用容器接住已经流出的金液，完成采金动作。就是一个好攻击，大德啊，好好学，小辉就是你的了。好，我再让你看别的。在面对体型较大的攻击时，采金人员的动作要更加快速，以避免攻击射精过快，来不及采金，或精液沾染到鸡毛，造成污染。Cockerel is taken away by the man and Dex. He's off to the next stage in his journey. They enter an unfamiliar coop. Before Cockerel stands rows of beautiful and strong roosters. They are the breeders of the nursery. Cockerel's life as a breeder starts now, without him even knowing. The breeder's coop goes by a regular routine. They are milked for semen every four days. The freshly milked semen is then taken to be inseminated in the hen house. Just like Cockerel, Dex is also adjusting to his new life as a handler. Miss Holm, who works with him, is quiet. But when she can't stand Dex's incompetence, she will guide him along. Dex watches as Miss Holm strokes the rooster. He can't look away. He imagines it's his tailbone she's stroking, his fresh and abundant feathers she's fondling. Oh,你用过最十九十几秒？哎，不是嘞，你没有摸它的色，它是不是对你很有感觉啊？没有啊，上次不小心把这个倒倒在倒在那个饲料上面，就他们都吃进去，而且我还不小心喷到他们脸上
Eat, sleep, and ejaculate. Cockerel and the other breeders, they lead a simple life. They never set foot outside their coop. However, the milky semen that came from them is then injected through inseminators into the vaginal orifice of countless hens. That then creates numerous eggs and chicks. With his animal instincts, Cockerell realizes he's entrusted with the great breeding mission. He also knows vaguely that outside the breeder's coop, there are his offspring among the thousands. Sir. <laughs> No one knows when this started. Dex isn't as restless. Miss Hong isn't as distant. Between them, there's this mysterious rapport building up. It's a secret between them and the roosters. The day Miss Hong's husband barges in, it's Dex's turn to collect cockroach semen. Cockerel watches as the farce comes to an end. When he snaps out of it, he notices his cage wide open from the collision. He gently steps out of his cage, both feet steadily on the ground. He flaps his wings, showing off to the other roosters smugly. Then, Cockerel walks out of the coop. He wishes to see the mountains he yearns for. He wishes to visit his offspring. All the more, he wishes to see the strange and fascinating world out there. Walking along, Cockerel comes to the free-range chicken coop. In the corner, he spots a pretty little hen. The little hen's eyes meet with cockerels. Cockerel's eyes are fixed on her. Primitive lust stirs and aches in him. The little hen squats submissively, just like how Cockerel is stroked lovingly every day. He can't wait to mount her. But nothing happens. The little hen leaves angrily. Cockerel's mind goes blank. This is what he does every day. It's his God-bestowed duty. Why is it that at the crucial moment, it has failed him? Cockerel mindlessly shoves and humps around the coop. The native chickens escape in fright. In the evening, Cockerel is already in a mess. There are traces of the native chicken's attack. Cockerel is majestic no more. He's no longer that pretty breeder the man in glasses once favored.
The man in glasses takes Cockrell away from the coop. On the way, Cockrell sees Miss Holmes' husband arguing with Dex. Dex starts his shabby motorcycle and swears to get out of this crappy place. Miss Holmes sits in the corner of the coop, searching for her sense of self-worth among the roosters. Since that day, Cockrell hasn't been spotted in the coop. Leaving the traditional market, Cockerel's soul wanders down the lane in the night. He comes to a fried chicken stall, staring at his own butt, now skewered with four other butts. Quietly, they lie together, until a boy approaches and picks up the skewer. Cockerel looks on as the boy chews on his butt. He feels at peace. Right then, apparitions appear. A few other chickens appear next to Cockerel. Their butts are also on that skewer. They don't interact with one another. They just look quietly at the boy as he munches merrily on their last bit of flesh. As for Cockerel, he never had much of an aspiration. To have come to such an end with a few new friends he met by chance, it seems to be good enough for him. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I ate five pieces of chicken. Yes.